Another uh, factor, a facet of the Boston Tea Party that fascinated me was the involvement of, uh, of Boston women. Um, so tea was a lightning rod in the 18th century for women uh, because women got together at tea time uh, and who knows what kind of gossip and scandal they might, uh, they might start if they were left to their own devices. Uh, who knows what kind of overspending they would encourage on the various tea things that people use to serve tea. Uh, a visiting lawyer wrote about Boston women, the ladies here visit, drink tea, and indulge every little piece of gentility to the height of the mode or to the height of the fashion and they neglect the affairs of their families with as good grace as the finest ladies in London. So this is the kind of language that people were uh, spouting about tea. Um, but women were crucial to boycotts of tea, right? If you're going to get everyone to stop buying tea, you're going to need women's help. Um, and so women were often attacked either for uh, failing to uphold the boycott or they were attacked for participating in politics in the first place. Uh, and there's evidence that women defended themselves from these types of attacks. And so I have uh, some great stories that I tell about that. Um, women also helped men prepare for the Tea Party. They connected some of the Tea Party participants to one another by marriage. Uh, and very often they were the ones who passed down the stories of the Tea Party uh, to descendants.